What's up? It's Greg Bossen from QuickBooks Made Easy. How's it going? Uh, and this is this month's quick tip, which is March of 2015. And I'm going to be honest with you because I'm an honest guy. I'm filming this on March the 31st of 2015. So I made it, but just barely in time. The reason why is because there's this little thing going on now called tax season and I'm like swamped with taxes. Uh, so that's why it's kind of last minute, but it's still going to be a good tip. It's going to be a really good tip. Uh, it's going to be a small tip. So a little tiny tippy tip, um, but it'll be good. So those of you using QuickBooks, particularly the desktop, you're going to like this tip and it comes out of a question that I get a lot and it has to do with when you're entering bills or writing checks. I'm going to go to the enter bill screen. The question has to do with this billable column here. People don't understand what the heck it is, what the purpose of it is and if I don't want to use it can I turn it off because every time I enter something it's checked and I don't understand and blah blah blah. So here's what the dealio is. Okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain this billable column and this billable column exists in the right check window as well right here billable. Okay. So this is helpful regardless of whether you're entering bills or writing checks. So I'm going to enter a bill and I'll put a little reference number there. That would be the invoice number on the bill. And I'll put it to repairs and maintenance for the building. All right. Now, this billable column, it'll remain blank unless you put something in the customer job field. Now, why would you put something in the customer job field? Well, if you're a nonprofit, and I know a lot of you are, then uh, you may be using nonprofit on purpose, not by accident. Uh, you may be using QuickBooks to track restricted grants. And if you do that, you want to use the customer job field and you want to point an expense as being paid for out of a grant by pointing the name of the grant in here. This is what a lot of nonprofits do to track restricted grants. Another group that uses this is construction contractors. They use the customer job field a lot because uh, they point the name of the job here, basically the project that they're working on. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and point it to a grant here. This is a nonprofit I'm working in. Look at this field here. This is where the billable field is. I'm going to go ahead and click it. Now, as soon as I put a name in the customer job field, all of a sudden the billable box appears and it's automatically checked. So people call me up and they're like, what the heck is this? What do I need to do with this? Do I need to worry about it? Well, first of all, what this is doing is if this box is checked and you can uncheck it if you want, but if this box is checked, that means that QuickBooks is going to remember this bill for $200 and later on, if you'd like to, you can actually create an invoice in QuickBooks to this particular customer in the amount of that bill. In other words, you can accumulate expenses to be invoiced to a customer like reimbursed expenses and you can point them to the customer on an invoice. Okay. That's what the purpose is of that billable thing. Okay. Nonprofits don't use it that much. Construction contractors do if they're doing time and materials invoicing where they will accumulate expenses and then invoice the customer for those expenses, maybe with a markup, maybe without. Okay. If you are going to do that, then you'd want to leave that checked if you're a contractor, but most other people, they don't invoice customers based on bills and expenses. So you want to uncheck the box. Well, couple things. If you accidentally didn't know about this and you left it checked for all these years, it's irrelevant. Don't worry because it's not like it's going to automatically invoice the customer. You have to actually go through the process. So it's not going to affect your books poorly. Don't worry about it. If you've checked it all these years, don't freak out. You're cool. Okay. But in the future, it becomes a little bit of a pain because if you want to uncheck it, and actually you don't need to, the only reason why you'd uncheck it is it does become a little problematic when you have an old data file and you want to condense it, which basically cleans up old transactions. Sometimes these transactions will stay in the data file, although there's a way you can get rid of them anyway. Uh, but anyway, it's not really a big deal. You can leave this checked and not even worry about it. But I know it annoys you that this is here and you don't like it. So you might just uncheck it if you don't use the feature and most people don't. Well, that's a pain. You have to uncheck it every single time. That's annoying because the default position is it's checked and then you have to uncheck it yourself. Well, people were so upset about this that they added a preference a couple of years ago. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to preferences and I'm going to go down here under time and expenses. I'm going to click on the company tab 
and where it says mark all expenses as billable this didn't used to be here everything always would be marked as billable and you couldn't control it a couple of years ago they added this preference and if I uncheck it then expenses won't be marked as billable it essentially changes the default I'm going to click OK has to close the windows to record the change here but now when I go to enter a bill I'll go ahead and enter a bill here to I guess the same people I'll just do the same bill $200 and repairs and maintenance and it is now watch what happens when I put the name of a grant here or a customer the box appears but the default is that it's unchecked so and because it's unchecked it'll be less annoying to you all right um, so that's the whole point of this so you won't be as annoyed and if you're still annoyed uh, by even seeing the word billable you can't really get rid of it so the best thing you can do at this point is just have a glass of wine or maybe two glasses of wine to chill you out okay it'll make life nicer uh, red wine by the way not white wine all right not that I don't like white wine well actually I don't like white wine but that's between you and me I like red wine uh, but red wine's supposed to be healthier so anyway so uh, that was a lot of irrelevant information but anyway that basically is it for the billable feature um, and again that billable thing is the same on a check now that I have uh, checked that preference or unchecked the preference now when I enter something here if I point a customer job to it um, let's see it's not going to appear as billable as well okay so ah wrong type of account there we go see it'll appear but not uh, be checked okay so that is basically it and I got to get back to doing taxes uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say uh, I don't think so except I would really like to be outside right now instead of inside this office doing taxes all right <laughs> I'll talk to you next month